afternoon, family and friends. Happy Easter to everyone that celebrates Easter. And to the ones who don't celebrate it and say it's a pagan holiday, which I don't celebrate it, but not because it's a pagan holiday, I'm just not religious. But to the people that do celebrate it, hold on, y'all. Happy Easter, and I hope y'all having a wonderful day. And uh, I hope that your God blessed you on today, as in every day. Thank y'all for showing up. I really appreciate it. I'm heading to my son's house to pick up this cooler for my mother's birthday party slash Easter celebration. Hold on, let me just turn. Wake up 
up whether they're at night or in the morning, naked or with an underwear on, on a digital scale. If you don't have a digital scale, get a digital scale. So you have to be figuring out numbers. Once a week, in the morning, on an empty stomach, because the reason for that is that's normally when you, your body done re, you know, released or whatever, the food you ate during out that day. If you wait till that evening to weigh yourself, you're gonna be heavier than what you weighed that morning because you didn't eat your food weight stuff until your body eliminates it. That's why you don't wanna weigh yourself every day because your weight gonna fluctuate. A lot of people get discouraged because of the weight going up and down, not because of your food intake. Food has weight to it until you release it. It's in your body. It's like you added weight to your immediate weight. If you weigh 200 pounds and you go eat 200 pounds of food, not 200. If you go drink half a gallon of water like I'm recommending y'all do, that's about six, six pounds you didn't gain that day until your body releases it. Your scale weight gonna show that you gain weight. But you don't gain four or five pounds in a day of body fat. You can gain four or five pounds a day of body weight, but not fat, water. Food fluctuates your weight. Salt, carbohydrates, sucks in water. Okay, that's why I want y'all to weigh once a week. We're gonna start out, depending on your health level, check with your health care provider first before you start an exercise program, all right? But we're gonna get on this treadmill, cardio, we're going to, depending on what to, if you work night shift, then it's applied for the daytime. But we're going to cut eating out three hours before we go to bed. If you go to bed at 10, your last meal is at 7. We're going to cut back, not cut out, on the carbs. We're going to cut out sugar, period. But carbs are bread, pasta, rice, stuff like that. Any non-meat, non-vegetable. None, well, fruits are carbs too. They got carb, you know, natural sugar. Vegetables are carbs, but they're non ferrous or whatever you call the carbs. They're not sugar based. They're not high glycemic, gly, glycogen, glycemic, whatever. That, uh, it's hard to explain all that to the uh, beginning. But the basic is bread, pasta. Uh, we're going to do, do those type of carbs, but minimal carbs not fat is where your weight gain body fat come from protein we want high protein which is meat not fried baked broiled such and such okay but the basics right now what we're going to do and i'm going to get to y'all another video on a daily basis so we're going to we're going to tweak things y'all going to be checking in let me know your progress right now you're starting by the weight we want a half a gallon of water, minimum, a day. Come on, y'all. My bad, y'all, I just thought of something. Did I say six pounds a week or a month? I meant a month. We're going for six pounds of fat loss per month. I had to pick up this cooler, y'all, per month. That's like a pound and a half a week, which ain't a whole lot. But it's a whole lot of fat. We going for fat only. We ain't worried about no water weight. That don't count. You hear people talking about, I lost 10 pounds this week. You can't lose 10 pounds of fat in a week unless you smoke and crack. 10 pounds in a week, that's water. If you gain five pounds in two days, that's water. Water and food, not body fat, all right? We, that's what we focusing on, body fat only. So we're gonna start off simple to my beginners. No matter what level you at, if you healthy enough to walk, we're gonna start off walking. If you're not healthy enough, go like I said, check with your doctor first. Don't y'all come at me to my big boy I passed out. Now, I'm telling y'all to get check up first. I want y'all to get into your doctor real heavy. I'm gonna get with you ladies on some hormone things that's going on with y'all with the estrogen and men too. I'm gonna show y'all on supplement that I take to control estrogen. And then I recommend to, to lady friends of my life that I know that they take. But you check with your doctor first before taking any supplement. Don't just do off what I'm talking about, okay? You can't come suing me to my I made you take a damn thing. I'm just showing you what I take and you do as you will. Check with your doctor first. So, uh, six
six pounds a month, pound and a half a week. Some folk gonna lose more, some folk gonna lose a little bit less. But that's our goal right there. But we gonna lose, all right? And we gonna start, the cardio is very important. We got, not just for weight loss, but for your overall health. Feel as you get older my age or whatever. I'm out here moving quicker and faster than youngsters at my age. I get, I get, I get busy. So, uh, no eating three hours before you go to bed. We're going to cut back on the carbohydrates, not cut out. We're cutting out the sugar as much as possible because it's hard to cut out sugar because sugar is pretty much everything we eat. No fruit after 3, 3 p.m. Even though it's a different type of sugar, sugar is sugar. People recommend you I eat fruit out. No fruit. Your body don't know the difference between sugar from fruit and other sugar is sugar. It, it, it stimulates insulin, no matter what type of sugar it is. Fruit, we minimal, we minimize the fruit. Vegetables, knock yourself out. Protein, meats, whatever, knock yourself out as long as it's not fried. Cut back on the salt. Not cut out, but cut back on the salt because you're gonna need the sodium for when you get to doing this carb, this uh, cardio for the sweating you're gonna be doing. You don't wanna be locking up and cramping. Sodium is bad for inactive people, salt, whatever. People that just lay around don't do nothing, it's bad. If you out here active moving, you need salt in your body. It's a, an electrolyte. You need salt when you're moving, when you're sweating a lot, which is what we're going to be doing. We're starting out slow on the treadmill. This is for beginners only. You advanced people, this ain't for you. They're going to work for you. Y'all y'all body already adapted. They're for new people only. I'm going to get to you elite people later. But for right now, this is for my, my, my people that are beginning. Cardio, if you're not a member of a gym, walk around your neighborhood. Get in your car, ride around your block, look at your odometer, and measure out one mile so you know how far you need to go per mile. Mark that off in your neighborhood, you and your car. Get in your car, look at where your, your uh, mileage at. Pull off, watch it, until it turn a mile. Then you know how far you gotta go to reach a mile. And we gonna do how we gonna mark our mile. We wanna start out with a mile a day if you have if you never walked. At your own pace. Don't don't get out there running and, uh, you start out because you we talking to newbies. Right now, any of the exercise that you do gonna yield results because you ain't never done that. If you somebody that's already getting it in, then just don't apply to you, you, you keep doing what you're doing. Different people that ain't doing nothing. Mark a mile off in your neighborhood with your car. If you're not a member of a gym, if you're not willing to join a gym, if you want to join a gym, that's better. Cause I want y'all on some weights. But right now, we're just gonna start off doing cardio. Different people ain't never done nothing. Start off with cardio. 30 minutes a day. Walk off a mile around your neighborhood. See how long it takes you to walk that mile. If you walk that mile in under 30 minutes, keep going till you hit 30 minutes. We want 30 minutes every day starting off for right now of cardio. We're going to keep it basic right now. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back with some more stuff about getting into the weight, supplements, things like that. But the basic beginning right now is just cardio. And a gallon of water from Walmart, alkaline water in a B as in boy, P as in Paul, A as in alpha, BPA free bottle. That's the chemical that raises your estrogen level. Make sure the bottle is BPA free. Whatever brand you choose. And make sure it's alkaline. A-L-K-A-L-I-N-E. They sell that Walmart. That's where I get mine from. Do as you get water, so I shouldn't be sued for recommended water. Everybody needs water. But I drink alkaline water. So, that's what we're going to start at for now. Alright? Cardio... Half a gallon of water there. Yeah, you're gonna pee a lot, but you're flushing out toxins and you're flushing out sodium and you're flushing out water away. Your skin gonna clear up. There's a lot of benefits to water. There are a lot of people, black people can't stand water like it tastes like pee or something. So we gotta up, up that water intake. Decrease the sugar intake. Decrease the carb intake. I want the sugar cut completely out, but that's basically impossible nowadays. So we're gonna decrease the sugar. 
Your fat gain is coming from sugar and carbs. Decrease, if not eliminate, fried food. Got it? So that's what we're going to start at the basics. All right. And we're going to keep this thing going. Starting tomorrow. Some of y'all might already be doing, but if people ain't doing nothing, you're going to start tomorrow. If you can do your cardio in the morning, do it in the morning on an empty stomach before you eat. Do your cardio on an empty stomach. But if you, if you can't do it in the morning on an empty stomach when you first wake up, you got to get it in where you can get it in. All right? That's what we're going to start at. That's the baseline. Cardio, water. Don't eat three hours before you go to bed. Cardio, 30 minutes every day, seven days a week. No excuses. I ain't feel like it. I could. I got out work late. 30 minutes a day. If you can't do it, don't come to my big water program. Ain't working. It's the only way it's going to work. 30 minutes every day. Check with the health care provider first. 30 minutes, seven days a week. If you're not physically fit enough to do 30 minutes right now, 15 minutes every day, seven days a week, then the next week, we're going to go up to 30. It shouldn't take you longer than a week to be able to get from 15 minutes to 30. You've never done nothing. If you're just totally out of shape, but well, you can't walk 30 minutes. If you're four, 500 pounds, you need a Zippic right now. Or some low-impact cardio like a, 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 a bike. Well, I don't know about no bike for y'all. Y'all need some medical care. If you're six, 700 pounds, I ain't talking to y'all. This ain't going to work for you. Then for people like I said, 50 pounds, 60 pounds overweight, not 500. 50, 60 pounds max. If you're 100, 200 pounds, that's doctor stuff, right? Well, no, nah, people that, you got to be extremely disciplined to lose 150, 200 pounds just with exercise alone and diet. Usually the people that's in game 200 pounds like that, they ain't, they ain't got that kind of discipline. Or they want to gain 200 pounds. So, but you got to do whatever you got to do to get the 200 pounds off. Them those Zepic people. I'm not recommending no Zepic. I'm just saying them, them the people that, that, that the health care provider recommend take that. Not me. I don't recommend nobody take it. But the people that they want to take it, be way overweight. Not no 30, 40 pounds. If you can't lose 50 pounds, you're just lazy. And sorry. You got to go take a Zepic for 50 pounds. So now we go, y'all. I know I'm rambling, but I'm getting everything in order. I'm getting my thoughts together. Now for this video. Now my next video ain't gonna be about no weight loss and fitness and stuff. But we're gonna, I'm gonna try to get y'all at least one of those in a day. Or every other day. To keep track of what we're doing, what y'all doing, what I'm doing, or whatever. And we're gonna go from there. Get it, got it, good.